opportunity to come here today. God, we pray that uh, the rain keeps uh, keeps calm and, and keeps our kid, county citizens safe. We thank you for uh, keeping our citizens safe so far in this storm and, and uh, no high water in any places in the county so far, God. So thank you for that. Just keep us uh, uh, over, under your watch in this meeting today. And God, just make sure we make every decision that benefits most, if not every single citizen that calls Nicholas County home. In your holy and precious name, we do pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Recording in progress. Okay, we'll call this regular scheduled meeting of the Nicholas County Commission to order. Today is September 1st of the year 2021. If one of you gentlemen would like to get started, please. Okay, I've been reviewing the commission minutes for July 28th and September 1st. We're not on September 1st, so for July 28th, I motion to approve. Okay. Motion's on the floor to approve the minutes from, uh, from July 28th. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All those in favor, sing the pop by saying aye. 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 All those against the motion, that's carry. <laughs> Upon review of the exonerations as presented by the Nichols County Assessor, move to move approve the court motion. Uh, motion's on the floor. Is there any discussion? Carrying down all those in favor, sing the pop by saying aye. 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 All those against. Motion is carried. Upon review of the state of fiduciary matters as presented by Nicholas County Clerk, we need to approve accordingly unless otherwise noted. Motion's on the floor. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against, the motion does carry. Upon submission of the budget revisions received from the elected officials and department heads, the commission will take appropriate action as deemed necessary. <laughs> Motion's on the floor. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against? Motion does carry. Upon review of the invoices as submitted by various department offices, the commission will take the appropriate action as deemed necessary. Okay, that motion is on floor. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against? The motion does carry. Uh, we need a motion to accept the resignation of Mr. Jason Lannon with the term of office expiring October 30th of the year 2021 uh, for the Nicholas County Parks and Recreation Commission. Okay, I'll make that motion. Okay, that motion's on the floor. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against, the motion does carry. Uh, now we need to make an appointment to the unexpired term of Jason Lamb, expiring October 30th of the uh, year 2021. Um, though I cannot make the motion, I would like to recommend Aaron Bell of Canvas. Uh, Aaron uh, was at the park board meeting the other night. I think she's a very articulate person and brings a lot to the table. I'll make that motion. Yeah, that motion's on the floor. Any discussion? <laughs> Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against? The motion does carry. Now we need to accept the resignation of Mr. Dwayne Brogan with the term of office expiring to October 30th of the year 2022 of uh, the Nicholas County Parks and Recreation Commission. I'll make that motion. Okay, that motion's on the floor. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against, the motion does carry. Now we need to appoint a board member to fill the unexpired term of office for Dwayne Brogan of the Nicholas County Parks and Recreation Commission, uh, which will be on October 30th of the year 2021. Uh, yes, sorry, thank you. Okay. I jumped up. No. Yeah. Uh, Clerk Painter brought to me uh, Joey Myers of Somerset. He's heavily involved in the soccer association, and that was his purpose of recommending him. I don't have anybody else, but that's just for the record. That okay. Okay. Uh, the motion's on the floor. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against? The motion does carry. Joey Myers. Do you have that address? I do. Yes, I do. I'll have that for you. My father sent that to me. I could say something about the minutes. Uh, July 28th had previously been approved. Okay. And it's August the 18th that needs to be approved. Okay. It was our last meeting. Okay. So sorry about that. Can we have a uh, motion to approve the August 18th minutes of the next commission? I'll make that motion. 
Okay, the motion is on the floor. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those against, the motion does carry. Thank you. Anyone for E911 board? Me either. Okay, that being said, um, I'll take a break. Recording in progress. Okay, we're here now with Mr. David Sales, the Chief Probation Officer, uh, with a request from uh, Judge Callahan uh, concerning courtroom TV and equipment for that. So, Mr. Sales? Uh, Mary should have given you all a copy of an estimate with the judge found and requested. We had a jury trial about a month ago now, and the old projector system didn't work, so they couldn't present some of the stuff they want. So, with everything that's been redone in the courtroom, we get this change to put that in, and we have everything to last us at least another 20 years. I think Mr. Bischoff said last time that that projector's been there for probably longer than I've been out of school, so it really needs updated big time, and that jury trial just showed they couldn't put anything on it, so if we get that TV, then now with the new internet and everything, they can just stream it from their computers and just make everything work a lot better, and then we should, the courtroom will be golden for quite a few years after that. But the only thing, it needs an outlet. So Mr. Boss can come up and check it. There's a sealed outlet on the other side, so he can put a bunch of holes on the other side of the wall and just turn it. It should be fine to go after that. I got two other estimates that I didn't bring today for some reason I thought I did. But the one, one of them, they were wanting to upgrade the projector to a smart projector and still use your screen. But it would act just like the TV, like the lawyers could tap right into the projector with their computers and do that. Do you think that's anything that you want to do rather than? I, I can ask the judge, but I'm sure. I did anything that works big, with me. I did one with the big screen TV, and they were going to run hard wire and everything. Um, and then, but he called me back and said, hey, maybe you want to look at upgrading that projector to a smart projector, because you already got the screen and everything. So maybe we could sit down with the judge and I could show him those things and see what he thinks. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That so way we don't have to do the outlet. We don't have to, you know, we could just upgrade that projector. Expect, I mean, anything that, because when, you know, if you're doing a trial trying to get exhibits and it's not working, then yeah. you got your jury sitting there waiting and everybody try not to keep them just as long as you can. <laughs> so, I mean, anything like that'll help, that'll be great. Okay. I'll get those and make an appointment with the judge. Okay. Yeah, what I might recommend is a motion pending the judge's approval of any other changes to go ahead and approve this, unless there's some other changes, and then bring that back to the next meeting. Then that way, just in case, you know, he says, oh, well, I still want this, then he can go ahead and move forward. Yeah. But well, then otherwise. There's there's probably a lot more to this than just the purchase. You know, you still got to worry about the installation and do all that stuff. So um, these are just the products. I think we can do that. Yeah, it's just a, the only thing I don't want to touch is the outlet, but as far as the uh, the TV mail, uh, over this past year I became a TV mail specialist because everybody got one for a birthday present or Mother's Day. There's, I mean, four light bolts on a, it's not hard to put in. Yes, no. We can do that after hours or whatever if we need to. Whatever we can do to get that going. And, uh, okay. Yeah, but let's just, uh, let's just take this for Okay. And then I'll work on it this week and get this up to him. And then we'll, we'll do it in two weeks then. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So we will know what exactly which way we're going to go. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Thank you all for coming today. Thank and you. We will take another break. Recording in progress. Okay, we're here now at my request for the approval of the Homeland Security UTV purchase. So we'll start with that. Uh, Director McGinnis. Uh, yes, sir. Um, this vehicle is definitely needed, uh, not just for special events throughout the county, but weather-related issues. And also, we need a, an SUV to get to the Lone Tree Tire. Uh, right now, the road's washed out, and that's our only access, which we've been using Summersville Fire Department. Uh, Chief Snodgrass has been willing to help us out with that. Um, I, I've got a quote on everything uh, as long with a rescue bed, which will also be utilized for all over the county uh, to transport patients out of rugged terrain. Uh, 
the price on the Saiba side is $25,429.95 and the additional rescue bed on the back of it is $27.15. Uh, but I would like to recommend the purchase of that to assist with all the events and rescues throughout the county. So you're looking at a total purchase of value of around $28,000? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Is this something they got in stock or you want to do uh, They have two on order. Uh, this will be available to us October 1st. With the bed and everything? With the bed and everything, yes, sir. One thing we need to clarify is he did get quotes for two other yes. um, uh, vendors. vendors, Yes, sir. Um, but the reason that it is higher than the average side by side is I requested he go ahead and build this one out at this dealership because it was the best price. Okay. And then so this is just fully equipped and yes. all at once. And this will be utilized for day and nighttime operations. We'll have light bars on the front and the rear as well to help with visibility at night. You got a trailer to haul them? Yes, sir. They have a call. Okay. Might need to replace about four or five years. No, they're last for uh, Yeah, yeah we're good. <laughs> we might have to replace the tires <laughs> sometime <laughs> next year, but other than that, it, it's right outside the office and still in good shape. I'll make a motion to accept that. Okay, the motion is going forward to approve the uh, purchase of the UTV with the special equipment added at the directive of uh, Director McGinnis. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against, the motion does carry. Up next, we have the approval of sale of the Kenwood radios. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, discount Communications and Electronics out of Charleston uh, have been working with us. They've come up and looked at all the equipment that, that's not being used, um, and they've offered uh, $17,500 uh, for that equipment. I would like to recommend the sale of those um, and then we can look at replacing the ones that haven't been replaced throughout the county with the, the upgrades to the Motorola. And the reason for this for the public's benefit is basically we, you know, we have a Motorola system we thought you know, it, 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 good counsel I believe that the Kenwoods could be a viable option but after repeated problems and concerns of our first responders um, they don't trust them, yeah. and, and I can't say I really blame them. I said Director McGinnis has done a good job here of, of getting us a fair market price for, you know, we're a couple of models later now and everything else, so okay. I think that Director McGinnis is a good thing here. I'll make that motion. Okay, that motion is on the floor is to approve the sale of Kenwood radios to, what's their name again? Discount Communications and Electronics. Okay. All that, uh, any discussion on that? Uh, the only thing is, is, is when you do sell, we just put that money kind of off to the side for the radios. Yes, I'll agree. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that clarification. Clarification. I agree with that more. Okay. okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those against, the motion does carry. Well, we need to add to that uh, motion for the ATV where the money comes from. It just comes out the yeah, come general line. Yeah. yeah. And to revisit on the uh, UTV. Uh, I don't have my list handy to you remember all the ones. The Nicholas County Community Foundation, uh, Leprechaun. mm -hmm. yes. the Leprechauns organization, both have donated once if not twice uh, mm -hmm. towards this. The pipeline donated an amount mm -hmm. of or something, uh, to this. So, uh, you know, we're glad to bring this project to a close and appreciate the community input on, on uh, helping Homeland Security purchase this. So we want to make sure to recognize those uh, yeah, groups yeah. and uh, individuals. The Nicholas County Community Foundation uh, donated $6,500 to that wow. project, and the uh, Mountain Valley Pipeline uh, was $5,000. So, and we appreciate those. Leprechauns? Leprechaun. Yes. $4,500. $4,500. Yes. So a little bit of county money had to go into that, but with all that community help, it was a lot easier. Sure Thank all of that. Uh, that being said, we'll take another break. Recording in progress.
Okay, we're here now at the request of the Commission to revisit the Wilderness Public Service District Upgrade Service Project uh, within the current system. And of course, we have with us Mr. Uh, Scott Rader and uh, W.D. Smith of E.L. Robinson. Um, so thank you all for joining us here again. Um, I don't have the proposal in front of me. I followed up to my desk and I did not. What was the total amount you all were requesting? $634,508. That would fully fund our project. Of the? Uh, that, that would be in anticip anticipation of the additional cost resulting to COVID and uh, other other factors, but mostly COVID. Sure. Six three four five zero eight. It's an extension packing. Oh, the main thing. So, oh, replace system improvement from the plant to, to, to the, the four-way stop, basically. Basically, where the uh, water storage tanks are on what we call King Hill and Mount Nebo, going okay, to yeah. two, the, the twin water storage tanks. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. That serves basically all customers in the district. Mm -hmm. And there what? The number of customers. We have 2,150 tags okay. for a total System population one. of around 5,200. Yeah. Okay. What do you, I, I know the costs are increased right now due to all this stuff. Is this something that has to be put to bid now or can you wait till some of these costs stabilize or? Are you afraid that's not going to happen? I mean, once if, if people stop bidding this stuff, the prices will come down. Well, we're experiencing, and Scott can speak to this better than I can because he deals with it on a day by day basis. We're experiencing leaks in that, breaks in that main distribution line that comes from the plant up, the, up to the two main storage tanks, which is not an everyday thing, but it's happening more often than it should because those lines are 40 years old. But to get to your question, and that's that's the, in, the in, that's one incentive to get it done is because of the problems it's caused with the boil water orders and the possible contamination. But to answer your question, that's I can't say for sure what the future holds. But if anything uh, that I've noticed over the years of watching construction projects for 40 years, very seldom does the prices come down very much. The uh, longer you wait, typically the more expensive it becomes. And with the glut of money that's 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 in the in the marketplace right now with with uh, the different federal programs and so forth, and there's a shortage a shortage of uh, materials and contractors are are, are are pushed right to their limit. I don't. I don't see the prices. I, I, if anything happens, I wouldn't be surprised if a year from now the prices are higher. But, but again, a year from now you can say, "WD, you were wrong," and I could be because I, I have no way of knowing that, Craig. Uh, I, I know where you're coming from, but uh, we we are we can't move forward with this project whatsoever because we have a shortfall in funding. Yeah. We, we can't go to the Public Service Commission. They they would kick it out in just a heartbeat because we haven't identified the uh, the, the, the additional money. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and, and we we just really we're, we're stuck in the mud. So we're we're going to have to do something, whether we have to go borrow it all, or hopefully get some help from you guys to help. If not all of it, some yeah. of it. I mean, like I said last time we were together, that would be. Anything, any help at all would be appreciated by the customers and the board of Wilderness PSD. Yeah. I really think that when we look at the big, big picture across America, with all the money that the government is investing in infrastructure, there's going to be a lot of projects out there. And with a, with a lot of projects in demand, I see the price probably going up. Because when you look at everything, like I say, there's going to be infrastructure builds that haven't been built for years. I see demand increasing. Our engineers are telling me that. I right, hope it would go down, yeah, but like lumber did. <laughs> okay, but right. I think it's going to go the other way because it's infrastructure. We can't. The money's out there. Can't get PVC pipe right now. It's, it's almost being rationed. Uh, the manufacturers can't can't manufacture it fast enough to uh, keep up with the demand. And 
of course, that doesn't do anything to help with price control. Yeah, it doesn't. You're right. I, you know, I can't. I can't say 100 percent for sure one way or the other. And, and nobody can. <laughs> okay. And all the money you got the other day is that is that all earmarked to it's wildlife or wild bridge? Yeah. Um, and, and be reminded what Kathy said, you know, if there are any leftover funds, we'd be happy to return them. And the reason I'm saying that is we have a couple more hurdles to uh, clear before it goes to bid. So if prices decrease, no problem at all uh, returning any of the okay. portion. So. And that's possible. We didn't have one. No, we we didn't have one. We didn't have one. We didn't have Support the full that. amount or up yeah. to 500 or? I would support the full amount. Uh, the money that we've got, we're, we've got a fifth of the population of the county in this. Right. Okay. We've got the 2.7 million that would come out of that first part. What's your other dollars that you've already got in? The 2,790,000 is low interest loan from the U.S. Department of Agriculture and Rural, Rural Utility Services Administration, uh, a 40-year uh, deal, mm -hmm. but it's all loan money. Two point what? I don't have that number in front of me. Oh, I got you. Yeah, but the it's all part of like two and a half. It, it's in two point seven. Two point seven. I, I, I would be a, a I guessing. Just, I don't just, remember yeah. exactly, but it, it's yeah. relatively low interest. I mean, this is kind of like the same thing we did with the Eagle Mountain. It's just part of the money, okay? They've lined up the other part of the money so yes. we can have the total number to go forward with it. The $2 million is firmly committed uh -huh. in a letter of conditions from the Rural Utility Service. Yeah. We're, we're just at a point that we need, we need to move forward and until, and until we identify this additional money, we can't move forward. Can't apply for our, perm our permits, and then specifically the, the uh, Public Service Commission certificate of convenience and necessity is really the, the big, the big permit. And is that the one? If you have the money, you can apply this uh, for that this fall, and hopefully next spring it could be good out. We would hope. I, again, that I, I've learned in my former life that that's a, I would be best served not answering that yes or no because things happen uh -huh. and as sure as I say yeah we'll go to bid next spring right. I'll have to come back in here and say well gee whiz we didn't know that, that was going to happen or this was going to happen but, yeah but that would be what we would hope hope could happen and, and and that does happen with all these things it's, that's one of the reasons some of these projects take longer than we anticipate and it, we get into this all the time okay we hope to do that but then again, okay, some other factors often will arise. Mur have Murphy's have Law has a way of following, following these things around. Anything that go wrong seems to be that does sometimes. But, uh, That's true. But, but, I mean, if we're the last money in, which I, yes, we yes. already basically that's how you're asking. Mm -hmm. And we're the first money out if there's anything, I can I can come around like Commissioner Ashton said to support it. Yeah. We need to support it, right? Okay. Right. But that's a big territory. Uh, yeah. Well, then we need, I'll make a motion that we fund it the 634508 from our COVID relief funds, however, whatever that's called. American Rescue Plan. Yeah, American Rescue Plans. Rescue Plans. Um, yes. Up to that amount. Mm -hmm. Not that amount, but up to that amount. We'd be the last money in, but the first money out if it comes in under bid, they're going to pay up to that point it is. And um, so I'll make a motion. Agreed. Okay, the motion's on the floor. Is there any further discussion? Do you have anything else to add? Legal counsel? Uh, no, Chris. Cool. Okay, thank you. I think this is the full intent of what Congress in, intended for us to do <coughs> and uh, to help upgrade our, our, our systems in the county. This is what this is for. Okay. Okay. 
That motion is on the floor. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against, the motion does carry. Thank you all for coming. Thank, thank you, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Very, very generous. Your recording stopped. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Much appreciated. Sorry. We'll go ahead and take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> recording in progress. Okay, we're here now with the Nicholas County Floodplain Managers, Annette Taylor and Sheila McClung, uh, with a review of a new floodplain ordinance. So, the floor is your own. Okay, so, um, Sheena is going to hand out our revised floodplain ordinance. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's pretty thick. I see. Thank you. <laughs> so, after the June 2016 flood, FEMA revised the Nicholas County floodplain maps. When the floodplain maps are updated, the ordinance, ordinance must be updated also in order to maintain our county status as a participating county in the National Floodplain Insurance Program. This ordinance has been inspected and validated by Chuck Grish Haver, Certified Floodplain Manager and Director of the State Office of National Floodplain Insurance Program. If this ordinance is adopted, we then send it to FEMA to be reviewed and approved before the new Nicholas County maps go into effect September 29th. Okay. So that's why we're like, we got to get it approved. But it, so therefore, we're submitting the updated floodplain ordinance and move that it be passed for the first reading today. Then we schedule the second reading for September 15th. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the second reading and final adoption it has to come before you twice mm -hmm. so it needs to be see three. I think on our side we have to do it three times no. No. Twice. Twice. twice twice yeah they said twice at the state mm -hmm. so okay. today it'll be reviewed and passed the next time the county commission meets it will be reviewed and adopted okay. if if you agree with it okay. and then we'll submit it to FEMA okay, okay. That's it. Well, here's our home. <laughs> <Your homework. laughs> but like I said, the so we need to actually vote on yeah. today. Yeah. Well, yeah. We and first off, we need a motion to waive the reading of the ordinance because I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'll make that motion. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Motions on four is there any discussion. Hearing none. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, that motion does pass. Okay, so now. Now we come back uh, September 15th. Yeah. And then we uh, move again for it to be passed and adopted. And then we have our new ordinance. Where, where did you get the guidelines from what you did? From the state. From, right from the state. Yep, from the uh, certified floodplain manager of the state. He's the director of the state floodplain. Okay. They, and for the public's benefit, this will be on review of the county commission office uh, for the public benefit yeah. review as needed. And also if I'm security, I'm sure. Yeah. So we need a motion. Okay. Yeah. A motion to approve the first, pass the first, yeah, first reading. reading. Okay. okay. I'll, make, I'll make that motion that we uh, Okay. Okay. Motion on the floor. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against, the motion does carry. Thank you all for coming in. Thank all you. your good work. Actually, I want to do, I want to look through this. Yeah. To see what that is, all is entailed in there. Yeah. Okay. We'll take another break there. Okay. They still have that. Recording in progress. Okay, at the request of the commission, we have a further discussion, including the forming of a board addressing the dilapidated buildings in the county, and no updates at this time. No updates at this time, but it is something that we are seriously working on. Okay. All right, and that being said, we have uh, Miss uh, Cassandra Lawson with us, the Senior Project Specialist with Region 4 Planning and Development Council. Uh, it looks like first up we have, uh, and we have Mr. Uh, John Tuggle joining us by Zoom, so hello, John. Uh, we have up first the Hinkle Mountain Broadband Project um, resolutions. Mm -hmm. So I, I indicated it kind of vaguely as right. resolutions because 
I, I think I've told you maybe this a couple times before. When the award was was made initially, it was for three hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and then an additional award was made for five hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So we're having to manage them a little bit separately, even though it's all funding the same project. So this was the the first time that we were combining drawing from both pots of money, and just wasn't quite sure how to go about it. But we can. I, we have confirmed we can do them collaboratively on one resolution. So this will be resolution number 16 um, from the original allotment of $300,000. Invoices include $5,628.30 in billing for engineering services, $260.40 for Mon Power poll permitting fees, and reimbursement to Region 4 in the amount of three hundred and seventy dollars and thirteen cents for the advertisements for the internet service provider we just went ahead and paid those for HD media and the Nicholas Chronicle from the 18 allotment which is the five hundred thousand dollars the only invoice um, that we're requesting be paid is region 4's administrative services from November of 2020 in the amount of four hundred and five dollars and sixteen cents the total of the resolution is six thousand six hundred sixty three dollars and ninety nine cents where are we? Where are we making this? Um, what we we need a couple of things. We need to complete the environmental assessment, which we pretty much have everything that's needed to do that. We just need to compile the information, and then we'll have to run an advertisement called a finding of no significant impact. We have all of the environmental clearances needed to do that. We just have to compile the report. The other thing is we'll probably need an operation and maintenance agreement in place with CityNet prior to going to bid. Don, I don't know if, if bidding can occur before that happens. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it would be better to have that place uh, place seeing that I mean, it has to be a big part of the video process they're going to be the ones that op operate the system so they'll probably be involved with with helping select the bidder if there's something wrong with the bid uh, so that that's the reason to have them on board uh, we don't anticipate having a problem with with bidding any of it but uh, it'd be good to have the uh, provider involved with that process uh, when we do the actual construction bidding. So we have a draft operation and maintenance agreement that was utilized by the Webster County Commission for a very similar project. Um, so we have sent that to CityNet and asked them to review it and make any um, commentary to it. And then once that's received back, then I suppose we would probably want to pass it on to Mr. Bischoff mm -hmm. for the commission for his review. Um, I think the goal was to take it out to bid in October. I, we may be a little bit off off from that. Maybe more likely November. Okay. Just we, you know, we've discussed a little bit amongst us, but we want to we want to build a fee into us too. And, and I'm trying to base that on if that was a private asset, what we would get tax dollar wise from it. So that's what. And that's included, that, that language is already included in draft form in the operation and maintenance agreement. Um, so CityNet, you know, what we would like to see is then come back with some kind of proposal that the commission can then react to. Mm -hmm. okay. and, you, and they did the, they did the Webster Park, which is already a done deal. Is that correct? I don't know that the operation and maintenance agreement is signed, but I'm pretty sure it was in final form to be signed. So you so already know what they're going to look for. Yeah. I, I can answer that. Uh, it's, uh, it's been agreed on by both parties. It's just a matter of getting signed. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys, for all Thank you. Time. So you have multiple resolutions. We, we have a side conversation. We, we, we um, in fact, only have resolution number 16. What's the total amount? It was $6,663.99. How much? Six thousand six hundred and sixty-three dollars and ninety-nine cents. Thank you. Okay.
Okay, so is there a motion to approve resolution number 16 in the amount of $6,663.93? I'll make the motion. Hinkle Mountain Broadband Project. Motion's on the floor. Is there any further discussion to be had? Uh, legal counsel, do you have anything? Thank you. Thank you. Um, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against? Okay. Motion carried. Motion carries. Okay. Thank up you. Next, we have the Hinkle Mountain Broadband Project budget revisions and countywide broadband last mile gap analysis funding proposal. So I'll go ahead and um, take a stab at the budget revision and then John can take it from there. Um, not to sound terribly convoluted, but you've actually already approved budget amendment number two, which is what we're presenting to you. It's just been reformatted differently per the request of the auditor's office. So again, this goes back to those two grants being awarded separately, mm -hmm. and we had combined them together in a grant amendment, um, and the auditor's office has asked that the the amendment reflect how, how the project how the Reporting in progress. 20, how the second allotment was actually budgeted initially. So anyways, this just rectifies what they want to see and it, it actually, it doesn't change the budget from what you previously approved. It's just an update to it, just to show it differently. Okay. And that's it for me. So we need a motion to do this amendment? Uh, updated amendment updated number two amendment. would be perfect. Okay. I'll make that motion. Okay, the motion is all for. Is there any further discussion to be had? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against, the motion does carry. And then, uh, John, if you want to kick it off on the, um, the other broadband conversation, or I can take a stab at it if you would like. Uh, I, I think I could do it, uh, Cassie. Uh, what we have, Bells, is, uh, you know, in 2017, we were fortunate enough to get two big grants to do a, a, a comprehensive study in 14 counties of opinion to basically uh, by putting numbers on and putting locations and getting the best funding packages and so forth. And out of that study, we actually have some implementation projects in all of our counties in Region 4 in, in process. Uh, right now, you know, since then, that, that study ended in 2019, so it's two years old, and there's been a lot of things transpired since then, uh, as far as funding from the federal government for broadband. Uh, you've heard a lot about uh, an art off program that came from uh, the FCC. Uh, USDA had a reconnect uh, projects situations. Anyway. So the, the game has sort of changed since 2019 somewhat. So what we have done is, is negotiated with our consultant to allow each county, if there, if, and it's totally up to you whether you invest in it or not, to be able to invest in uh, retooling of the previous uh, study information to bring it up to date. And they were just gonna charge 3,500 bucks for that. Uh, See, our, our grant money is gone, so we don't have anything to pay them with. But so we're asking each county if they're if they want to do that. Um, Webster County has already bought into it. Uh, don't know about Fayette yet. Uh, Poconis and Greenbrier both already had money laid aside for that, so they didn't need to put more into it because they have they have study money from other sources. But that's the offer to Nicholas County. You don't have to take it, but we recommend it because there's a lot of uh, areas that you know are, are, are still there's certain areas that aren't covered by existing grants that are available right now like the, the art off area was in red uh nicholas county and uh you know our, our small cities that we have in Hinkle mountain that's so poor or implemented that uh, there, there may be areas that we need to fine tune and put new numbers on to try to go after more dollars, especially <coughs> the ARP money. And that's that's sort of the urgency of, of getting this in play right now is 
the ARP money, if you do want to spend it on broadband, it, it would be better if you had a good idea of the available customers that, are, that you have in the county and what it costs to go get those available customers. Uh, then you would have a good idea where to spend your money. Um, otherwise, you could probably, to be honest with you, you could wait and we probably could come up with $3,500 from other grant sources down the road, but uh, that may lose your being up front to get the ARP money where you want it. Uh, so that's why there's a little bit of urgency to spend $3,500 to, to get that done. If you don't, it, it's not the end of the world, but it, it sort of puts you behind it and not knowing exactly what to do with your ARP money. So I'll open it up for questions there. Is that 3500 per county, John, or total? 3500 per county. And actually, that's, that's a really good deal. I can't believe they're going to do it for that much, but anyway, that's, a, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good deal to get that, that work done because they will identify you know, the available customers that aren't you know, already covered by a grant or are ineligible for federal funding. Uh, and it puts a dollar number on it so that we can go after uh, additional grants or you know what to spend your ARP on. Have you, have you had other counties already do this? And if so, how did they fund it? Well, that was to just make sure you can do it out of their own funding uh, yeah. for their EDA. The, the Webster EDA is going to put 3500 in. Uh, the other counties, Pocahontas had a, a CBG project that was identified for uh, other purposes that they could get that, that money from, so they didn't have to get it out of their own coffers. And, uh, Greenberg County is taking it out of their TIF money. Thank you. I'll make a motion to refund it from the ARP. I don't know. I'm not sure your mic's working very well. I'm not yeah. here. I can well, hear no, yeah, sorry. Our internet is very slow today, so I'm sorry for our connection. Yeah, I would think that it could be fun. Yeah. John, I, I think um, it would be acceptable to fund out of, out of ARP funds, right? ARPA? And that's correct. I think it would be, yeah. you know, I think you could go with bit. your ARP funds. We yeah. want to get refund like that. Right. But I just don't want to subject yeah, to I think I'll make that motion if possible. We can take it from ARP. ARP. No, we'll take it from ARP. But in, let, let me clarify the, what, the way that will work is the the consultant will finish the work, will build the regional optical communications, because that where we have them under contract, and it will turn around and invoice the county. So, you know, it's not like it's going to happen next week. So, we got a little bit of time to work on. Okay. Okay. All right. So that motion is on the floor with Commissioner Chapman. Any further discussion to be had? Uh, legal counsel, do you have any questions? I do not. Thank you. Okay. Um, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those against? The motion does carry. Here. So, Sandra and John, we appreciate you all coming in today. And if you need anything else, you know where we're at. Thank you for what you're doing. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Okay. For the same. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And if that makes yeah. sense, we'll take another one. Here we go, Pat. Recording in progress. Okay, we have with us today uh, Mrs. Uh, Mary Jane Wilt uh, with a revisit request of the funding for Richwood Armory to renovate in, to a uh, community center. So, the floor is yours. I was just really here to see what where you've gotten with, because uh, you said you were on that board and you were going to check with yes. the community actions. I've heard from anybody and that's all. Sure. Um, the last I understood from community action is just the clarifying of the board, having a board member, and then kind of the long-term memorandum of understanding, I don't know if that was the exact verbiage, but something along those lines, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, you know, the, the commitments and everything else being put in place. So I right. think that's where that board is still, it still has it. Because okay. yeah. I said that all summer long, and, you know, I said, just come on over, join our board, and, you right. know. I got you. So, they're just saying, so we're just not getting anywhere, I don't think I so. But I understand. Um, do you have anything from the commission side? The, uh,
I think that there's a possibility there that there could be some other funding besides <coughs> Okay. And uh, I do think it is a worthwhile project uh, that uh, I'm in the process of working on to see what other funding that I can get okay, for this project. Now, uh, for my correction, that you're you have 65 up front. That's 65 right now. Okay, and the total number you need is, is like 142 or something like that. It keeps climbing. Uh, sure. and so, and it definitely we need um, definitely if we could get 160 more, because we're you know not only the heating and air, we also have drop ceiling and we also have the roof. We just discovered the roof is going to need to be replaced. And we're patching the roof. We paid a little extra to patch the roof. Yeah. Um, but it's going to have to be completely replaced. It was replaced in 2005. Um, but I could show you pictures of how you pulled up the edge to show how it's not attached to the edge anymore. So, And of course, it has the old rock on it. So that has to be removed of the, a regular rubber roof. Uh, Does it have gravel? Is that what you're talking it about? It has gravel on top. On top. Yeah. And they waited. That's what they used to do. But yeah. that's not permissible now. So. And, it's, and it, there's water that's collecting in the gravels, and I think that's leaking through. Um, and of course, the water that's coming along the sides where it's not attached, it's getting coming down through the soffits and getting in the, uh, some of the edges of the building. So. But once he patches that, we won't have that problem, but goodness, how long the patch will last, you know? Sure. So, like sure. the band yeah. was that, that patch wasn't terribly expensive, I remember looking at that, that um, number in there. Oh, you saw the, we had the uh, $7,000. It wasn't patch. a lot of money to no. do that. Except we didn't have it to begin with, so yeah, it was a lot of money. <laughs> Another 7000 we didn't have. So we're kind of shifting money around and you know, to see what comes out of uh, more grant writing at this point. So, okay. But I was also going to try to, as I said when I first came here, I'm going to try to uh, petition the legislators to see if they can you know, give us some money. But it did say you should have up to a 40% match. And uh -huh. so... That's why I was hoping to get a little bit more so I can say, I have this much, can you give me this much? But I, you know, I wanted to hopefully to try to do that as soon as possible, so. Okay. Uh, I think there are some other discussions that need to be held first. Mm -hmm. That as far as procuring the other money, that I think that um, uh, at that point in time that the county look at this as far as putting some money into that. We need to I think that hopefully by the next meeting we can have this have some decimals and firmer numbers on this. So okay. that we can go forward with that. So you think I should wait before I contact the legislators? To well you can go this and just go with that anyhow. Okay. See what I can get there. But we anticipate okay, okay. that there will be some more money. Okay. Okay. When do you have your board meeting? Um, I need to set our next board meeting. It's going to be um, Saturday. It's coming up and it's, I think we're going to schedule it either the 13th or the 20th. Probably the 13th of September. 13th or 14th. We haven't. Did you want me to send you an email and we do it? Yes. Okay, That's I can do that. Is there next That's meeting here? I should be on, on the 15th. Yeah. The what? The next meeting here is going to be oh, about 15. Yeah. Okay, we'll definitely have it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then it'll be more informed what we're doing and all, too. And you can see the place firsthand if you can make the meeting. Yes. Because, okay. uh, you know, we've started pulling down the soffits, and then it's raining. So we can't fix the roof, and we can't put up the soffits until it stops. So maybe by then we'll be at that point. So okay. that'll make a difference. Yeah. Okay, I'll make, a, make sure to give you an invitation, or at least a notification at the time. It's usually around 4.30. Is that okay for you all? or? I mean, I can move it if I need to. I'm a five o'clock person. You're five o'clock. Okay. What about you? About eight or nine o'clock. <laughs> 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 or six or seven a.m. Yeah. But then, yeah. yeah, we can make arrangements. Yeah. But but the other thing is, is and from our standpoint, um, for us to put money into something, we need to see some firm estimates, mm -hmm. which is some firm bids. You know, right. not just hey, can we have one hundred forty thousand dollars? Right. That, that's not what happened. Yeah. I've been trying so, for two months to get several bids, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but I will see. I'll tell them I need to have it by the thirteenth, and maybe yeah. that'll light the fire. Uh, everything and get it going. kind of needs to be spelled out. Yeah. To, you know, to to the to numbers exactly. Point. Right. Okay. Uh, honestly, I've been working on bids since April, so you know, I'm going to have to really push them because I, you know, 
I, I'm, a, I'm the same me. way. I need to know before I proceed how much sure. I'm going to. And we've got to have those also. Yes. Okay. And, and okay. for this amount of money, it might not hurt for us to consider, I mean, an ownership agreement or a couple board seats or something like that, too. I mean, this is one of the yeah. largest investments we've made outside of county property, probably. And that would be good, you know, you because. Know, so we'd have to. Yeah, and, yeah. and we'd also want to see your, your setup, your 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 501c3, your uh, board, what who owns the building, who, right. what can be done in it. You know, we, we, we've actually opened a conversation with the uh, community, community, community action. action. You know, uh, they don't feel like that, that they've got enough information to do anything in long-term leasing. So It's hard to get information when you don't answer the phone, to right. be honest. You know, but, the, the, maybe the board doesn't, but I contact, try to contact her, and I can't give her any more than if she would come and, and tell us what she needs, you know, and sit down with us, and you know, and then she can take it back. There's, there's no give and take going on there. So, well, I um, think you know, we may be able to be the mediator there. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's probably yeah. Right. I mean, I've been asking okay. for her them to have a, board, a seat on the board, you know, just so we can have that right. uh, moving forward with it, and that's what I'm lacking with them, you know. So either her or somebody from that board, or one of you all, that's fine. I mean, it, it's only going to improve if we have a, a good cross section of representatives. Yes. Right now, our board has the Cherry River Foundation, which is our 501c3. It has um, uh, the Empowerment Zone. Uh, the Diana Stahl represents the Past 80 group. Um, I'm with the Chamber, and, and of course, the city, the mayor, because the, 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 the city owns the building, and they're paying the utilities right now and uh, upkeep. So, you know, the city is going to continue to be the owner of the building and then hopefully the people that use it will pay a little bit of utilities or whatever. And, you know, we haven't decided all that yet. We're not at that stage. But, you know, that would help maintain the, the building and help sustain it in, in the years to come. Okay. So if, if, if a certain entity like Community Action, we'll use that as an example, they, if they needed a section of that, it would be up to the city to lease them that on a long-term lease. It, we, there would be a contract that would be set up, yes. I mean, that's, and we mentioned that, but we don't know what they want and what they, other than the few things that we've been told, you know, but it's better if we sit down rather than back and forth phone tag, you know, and, and really talk about Well, send about us it. an invitation, and, and one, if not all three, yeah, can attend. We'll be there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we can get down to knowing what's going on and that helps. Okay, and okay. The, is the 13th or the 14th better for you all? 13th on a Monday night. Yeah. That might be fire association. So would the 14th be better? Probably. 14th. Okay. I'll go ahead and do okay. it. If that's doable for your people. I mean, if not, you know, right. one of us was smiling here, the other. Well, there will be enough of us there, too, so. Yeah. For once, out, it'll be a short trip for me. There you go. Right. <laughs> right. I'm using it. It was with, right. the, with all the driving uh -huh. involved. <laughs> it came with all the meetings. Okay. <laughs> I have to drive over here and drop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. You said at 5 o'clock? Yes, 5 o'clock on the 14th. Okay. Thank you for what you're doing, Mary Jane. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your time. I'm learning more as I go. I'm learning a lot about building, let me tell you. Well, <laughs> well, I, I did not know before. Well, there's your second process. act of construction. Uh, right? yeah. with, my second with, act of not to do this again. Well, yeah. <laughs> with the county and what we do, there is a process. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And um, anyway, it's, it is what it is. Well, I feel more secure about what we're doing now than I did a couple months ago now that I know what all we need to have and what we need to have to get done. So, there's, but I'll have all that. I'll you know, send you. So you wanted a. Um, So you wanted the um, 501 information, and what else? Board members. Board, Board members. members. Bylaws or anything like that. That's the important. Okay. Legal counsel, do you have any questions? You can chime in anytime. I do not, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 501c3, board members, bylaws, board members, bylaws. And you wanted to ask, uh, for an estimate. Yeah, we need to ask. Estimates yes. on the work to be done. Yeah, I think uh -huh. that's a good invitation for I us. I think it is too. Okay. 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 Okay
All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. RJ. Um, do where do you stand with the, uh, the building commission's Madres building? Uh, legal counsel, I don't know if you heard that. She was asking about the Madreas building, which is, of course, the $16,000 allocation. Um, do you have any further questions or needs for uh, that to be completed? Um, looking at the agenda, that's not on the agenda today. Is that correct, Commissioner Cole? That is correct. Um, I, uh, Ms. Williams and I are, are, um, are trading emails right now. Um, I'm in the, the process of drafting up the use agreement, but um, I'll send another email to her and CC the commission on it. I, I still have some, some questions that I would imagine we'll be able to resolve just the underlying issues here soon, and, and the use agreement um, should be ready by the, the end of the week, I would say. Um, but of course, what I would do is submit that to the commission both to review first, and, and then we would um, propose that to the Richwood City Building Commission. Okay, yeah, this week would be great. That's greatly appreciated. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for coming in. Uh, up next, we have at my request uh, the approval of a table purchase for the commission meeting room and a window table for the probation office. Uh, first off, you should find in your uh, pile of notes here. If yeah. not, I have, uh, I didn't get a very good copy. Um, I should have paid attention to the second page, but I didn't. Um, what it is is G2 Handworker Designs mm -hmm. of Somersville just yep. completed our tables for the courtroom and right. the uh, sure. jury room. Uh, did a fantastic job, gave us a pretty good rate, mm -hmm. and so uh, something we've talked about is just you yeah. beautifying the whole place. And of course, right here below us, I'll even zoom out on our benefit. For our benefit, we have a folding table. Um, we have a lot of business to take place, tax hearing stuff like that. And so uh, I asked Doug, to, and this is you know uh, not a requirement by any means, but I thought it was a good time to ask Doug for a quote of a table to match this uh, countertop, which is of course historic value, so we'll never get rid of it. Uh, it used to be the countertop in the uh, county clerk's room, actually. Uh, but for us to have, and, and for the benefit of much larger but still not going to be too wide to take away the front row uh, mm -hmm. and can be used as a conference table or anything like that just scoot it out and, yes okay. and then used for that okay and so that's uh, the uh, quote there that he provided for thirteen hundred dollars and uh, I just like to ask for us to at least uh, definitely consider it. Appreciate the motion is on the floor. Is there any discussion to be had? Um, hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against, the motion does carry. Again, thank you very much. I think it would be a good addition to the meeting room here. Um, I asked for a quote at the window table for the probation office. Um, for those that aren't familiar, mm -hmm. during the pandemic, uh, Commissioner Neal actually built a table um, that's in the window structure beside the door so they, you know, basically a window break and, mm -hmm. and all that for, for the pandemic's sake um, that table has splintered in a few things and they just requested a new one and since Doug was here I took him by and said hey would you mind to just construct us a new one uh, but he wanted to say and this was neither here nor there on the table for the commission meeting room that he would just do it and take care of it so yeah, that's kind of his uh, he said that would be his contribution to the county for the for the year so hopefully next year we'll get something else out of it. but anyway so I don't think we need any of, well, I, I it might not be bad to have a motion of approval for him to perform that work since he'll be working with county facilities. Uh, but again, that is at no cost to the county. Okay. So he's glad to make that up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that being said, the motion is on the floor. Is there any discussion to be had? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against? Uh, the motion does carry. Thank you. Yeah, just explain to him that that's not <laughs> That's right. Yeah, right. No, no cutting property yeah. taxes, as Commissioner Chapman uh, duly explained. So that being said, we'll take another break. Comment period. We do have a public comment today. For the record, uh, and, and for the uh, public's benefit, um, we are limited to a three-minute time span on the public comment uh, by state code that we have to follow here. But we have with us uh, Mr. Rick Bagley. Okay, I want to make sure I said that right. Uh, say that right. Uh, representing himself on the topic of state and federal overreach. So the floor is yours for three minutes. Can I come up to the table? Absolutely. Sure can. I'm not sure. Uh, 
Put the cramp in my stuff. Three minutes. That's rough. Pause that. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, I won't play you the statement by President Kennedy that I was going to play you, but that is in reference to the power structure, which is dominating and ruling our country and the world. So I'm not a complete nut, because he said it first. Anyway, uh, part of what's going on and what I'm here for is the uh, state and federal overreach regarding the mass and vaccination situation. It's uh, quite a charade that's going on. And uh, I would have thought that uh, you would have been interested in this. I have this for Thank you. copies for all of you. Hope you indulge me for a minute or two more. Uh, that's one part of it. We can't break our own law with, with mandates. That, that's not law. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, this commission will, uh, like they made us a sanctuary county in regards to the Second Amendment, and two of the three of you are still here that signed on to that, will do the same thing when it comes to masks and vaccine mandates, because they're coming. It's already done in uh, Australia, New Zealand, Gibraltar, and we, we can go on and on and on. Uh, the uh, governor of uh, Tennessee, I have this for you. This is uh, executive order uh, from the governor of Tennessee. He's already calling for the construction of COVID detention centers. So if you read that, I have it highlighted in places that are of critical interest. But the whole thing is important because he's dropping all standards for these centers and inspections and all of that sort of thing. So uh, I'm hoping that this commission will say no to uh, the overreach that's definitely coming our way. I have uh, statistics that obviously time is not going to permit, but um, I'll just give you the uh, paperwork that I have, uh, the thousands of people that are admittedly already dying from the vaccinations. Thank you. And, uh, and as far as the guns, I know you're on our side with the guns, but just be aware also that not only is the uh, CDC, which is a private corporation, has no jurisdiction in our country, is also attempting to take our guns. Of course, they're not saying they want to take our guns, but for our safety, our health safety, too many people are being injured by guns. It's right here. They've started their program up again to uh, take our guns. And if all of you have access to a personal computer at your home, I have thumb drives with videos of interviews with scientists and doctors regarding the true formula of what's inside these vaccinations that you'll never hear in the criminal corporate media. Can I give each of you a thumb drive to use on your personal computers? Okay. And also on here are some videos, one of which is a minute and 40 second recording mm -hmm. of President Kennedy's statement about that new world order, which is taken over. So it's all there. So we only have our local government to protect us. We can't do it alone. We have to stand together. But we're going to lose our control. Did a good job there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, we appreciate you coming in. All right. Well, thank you. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank you all. Uh, that being said, um, is there any other business or concerns the commissioner would like to address at this time? <laughs> I have none. Okay. Uh, hearing none, is there a motion to adjourn this regularly scheduled meeting of the Nicholas County Commission today on Wednesday, September 1st of the year 2021 at 11.52 p.m.? I make that motion. Motion's on the floor. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those against? Yeah. The motion does carry, and we stand adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.